In this episode, we'll be taking you around the bustling city of Tokyo. We'll be exploring a number of different areas and showing you some of the best places that we think are worth a visit. Kicking off with Akihabara. Akihabara is known as the Electric District. You'll find all sorts here from all your gaming things to anime as well. But first, we're going to find the Horror Vending Machine Corner, uh, which has some weird and wonderful things in so we've heard. So let's try and find it. Right, so we are here. And it looks exactly like I imagined as well. And some of the other pictures I've seen. It's a tight squeeze. Oh, there's bugs there that you can buy. I think they're toys. 540. Potato chips. Not sure what that is. Uh nectar. So it's mainly drinks. Everyone's singing bowl. Don't know what one of those is. Everyone. 990. I guess we'll never find out for that either. What else is there? Because apparently these mystery gifts that you can buy. We don't know what's in. Oh, hang on. What's what's around here? Ah, oh, here's the mystery gifts. So these, you don't know what's inside them until you buy them. 570, 490 is the cheapest one. 490, should, do you think we should get one? Eh, yeah, why not? What do you think, shall we get one? I think we should. I don't know what we're going to be getting. It doesn't feel that much in it. It's probably something that's not worth it. Hmm. Some sort of animal biscuits. So I think I've probably been a bit a bit ripped off there. Ooh. Oh well. That's, that's the mystery of it, isn't it? So the reason it's called the Horror Vending Machine Corner isn't for the products that it gives. It's more the signs in Japanese that are around. Now, I've researched some of them, and one of them actually says, this is not a toilet. If you urinate or defecate here, man or woman, I will photograph and videotape your face in nether regions and put it on the internet forever. Another one says, I'll cut off all 20 of your fingers and toes in relation to anyone that apparently graffitis. Those are just a few, uh, so that's why it's got its name, although the most horror related thing you can buy here are these bugs. So we're still walking down now, and this place honestly is like the Japan I imagined. It's so alive, so many colours, lights, everything. It's just absolutely amazing. I'm so glad we came here. The second place we recommend you check out is a Don Quixote store. We came across a lot of these and each one contained everything you could ever need from cosmetics and consumables to collectibles and gadgets. This particular one even had an arcade on the top floor. Look at all the random flavours of Kit Kats, I have never seen this many anywhere. We've got cheesecake flavour, oh that's green tea maybe? Uh, we've got strawberry flavour Kit Kats. So I am now um, an octopus and um, octopus crab. What are you? I don't know. Are you an ice cream or a super poo? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. How are you feeling, John? A bit woof. Inside this arcade is a nail machine. So for 500 yen, you buy a pack of nails. You then pick from a selection of different patterns and there's so many to choose from. And then it customises your nails for you. So, let's have a go. Got my nails out. So here are my plain nails. Let's customise them. I 
think I'm gonna go for these. And they're ready. So yesterday we spent probably longer than we should have done at Athi Harbour. We basically spent all day there. So we didn't get a chance to do anything else, but we are up and starting the day early by kicking off with the Senzoji Temple in Asakusa. We're just coming up to it now and it looks stunning. This is incredible, wow. So our next stop of today is the Tokyo government building which has an observatory deck. Now there are a few of these in Tokyo, however this one is free. And that is our favourite price. So there's a piano here and uh, anyone can play it by the looks of it, you just have to form a queue. As some of the players are really, really good. So this place is definitely worth a visit and it's free, like Becky said earlier. Some great views, you can just really get a true perspective of how big this city is. But you don't just see it from one window, it's like a full 360 view and we can even see Mount Fuji today. This vending machine is in the government building. Now this is quite different to what we've seen so far. Hot, cold and even frozen lemonade. So I think I'm going to go for a hot chocolate. I've gone for a grape juice. I heard it throw some ice in as well. This is this is brilliant, absolutely. I can confirm that is grape juice. So we're just getting back on the subway again now and we're heading to Harajuku. So we've arrived in Harajuku and we're now at the top of Takashita Street which is the main attraction that everybody comes to Harajuku for. It's full of vintage clothing, weird and wonderful things and lots of animal cafes. So let's go take a look around. So this is a whole shop that's dedicated to capsules and different things you can get in them. There must be, wow, looking at it, probably a thousand or so here. So let's have, let's have a look. Why anybody would want something like this, I, I don't know. But it's here. In the food collection. Maybe people collect them. Maybe that's the aim of it. I don't know. All collectibles. Collect the set if you can. Penguin having a barbecue. Okay, so if I was going to choose something to collect, I'd be collecting cats. I mean, look, we've got a cat fishing. We've got a cat with a donut head. We've got a cat attacking a fish. Oh no, sorry. A cat hugging a fish. Sleeping cat. Honestly. Look, begging cats. Look at my sad cat face. The possibilities are endless. It's 
time, I think, for something maybe to drink. So the idea is we're going to go to a Sheba cafe with dogs and uh, check that one out. I'm so excited. Right, so I've had another change of plan since the uh, dog cafe was busy and the time was going to be too late. So we're now in Shibuya trying to find another dog cafe called Dog Heart. So we'll see if we can get in there. enjoying this vlog please click the thumbs up button and if you're not enjoying this vlog please click the thumbs up button so that has got to be up there with probably the most random thing that I think we've ever done so it turns out it wasn't a dog cafe as such because there was no cafe we basically just paid to pet dogs for half an hour it was a great experience and now we are going to head to Shibuya. This is genuinely the beating heart of Tokyo. It's so busy, it's alive, it's electric. So you can't come to Tokyo and not experience the Shibuya Scramble Crossing. After spending a few times crossing to get the perfect pictures, we had to see it from an aerial view. So we're going to try to see what Shibuya Crossing looks like from up there. So you can actually get higher it seems, so we're going to see how to get up there. I think it's around the corner. And then up there. So Becky's doing a time lapse of the Shibuya Crossing and this is how it turned out. Okay, so I found a place that we're both really excited about going to. We couldn't book a reservation online, so I am really hoping that we can get a table. John, where are we? We're at a robot restaurant. How cool is this? It's down there. It's down there. It waves and everything at you, it's just... <laughs> it's so exciting! I thought that was the case. Patch Travel Guide on YouTube. Subscribe. <gasps> yeah? You're... Oh, you are a subscriber. That's a good choice. Even robots subscribe to Patch Travel Guide. So the robot's taking us to our table. This is crazy. Oh, are we here, sir? Lovely. This is our table then. Thank you. Go. Oh, there it goes. I've just been, I've just been escorted to my table by a robot. What on earth? So I've just translated this, and it says it's a self-ordering service. So I've just scanned it and clicked start ordering. We've had such a great time exploring Tokyo, but now we're ready for the next part of our adventure. Join us on the next episode where we travel by bullet train to explore the beautiful city of Osaka. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this vlog's helped you plan your trip to Tokyo. If it has, let us know in the comments, smash that like button and think about subscribing.